My name is Sheila Corona. Welcome to this edition of Handbook for the New Paradigm, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. We are in Volume 3, entitled Becoming, on session number 14, if you're following along with me in the book. That is page 285. And it begins, as the world situation evolves into greater and greater confusion and chaos, what is happening in the larger picture is impossible for the individual to perceive. Each can perceive only that portion of the whole through personal observation and through what truthful media information is available. And I want to stop right there and say, again, this was uh, published in 2018, but channeled much earlier. I'm not sure there is any truthful media anymore. I don't even know if that's capable uh, because of AI and all of that that has now been unleashed on the world. And so that is why I feel as though, especially in the last few years, it has been imperative for folks to get into themselves, feel the truth of a thing and move from there and not trust anything outside of self, nothing. Everything must be felt because this is it. This is exactly why what it said here specifically about each can, can perceive only that portion of the whole through personal observation. That right there, I, it, that should be a period. It went on to say, and through what truthful media information is available. And, and who knows what the truth is anymore? Because there, it's just on all sides. So back to the book. This is further complicated by the filter, yes, of opinion, experience, and feelings through which each reaches their own conclusions. I've said that so many times. We are a composite, a compilation of everything we've ever experienced in our life. Every hurt, every trauma, every word is perceived by each in a completely unique manner based on all those experiences, not the definitions of those words. So back to the book here. Any single person or any group, no matter how carefully known information is analyzed and checked, rarely knows the truth of any situation. That is so true. As the, we make a lot of assumptions, I have been asked by my inner guidance to make sure I are, are, do you know this for a fact or is this an assumption and what is it based on? As those who would control increase their surveillance through computerized analysis by satellite scrutiny of communication exchanges, photographs taken in stores, banks, and in street intersections, individual lives become documented to the point of infinite detail. For what purpose is this being done if the abundance of, quote, chemical weapons would allow the annihilation of all or any portion of humanity at any time? If the human body is being deliberately debilitated through genetic food alterations, additives that are abrasive and destructive, Diseases that are deliberately induced through vaccinations, destructive medical practices, etc. To what end is all of this leading? It would appear that humanity is no different than the animals that are demonically used as test subjects for the quote good of humanity. What then is to be the recipient of the quote good? of the tests in which humans are the focus. In the larger picture, are humans benefiting from the animal testing? Following that thought pattern, would anything of good likely to result from the testing, 
that is being carried out on human bodies, we again come back to the conclusion that this planet and its human population are but a virtual reality game for those who consider themselves to be superior and in an ownership, a quote, ownership position. We return to the conclusion that someone or some group is misusing their greater intelligence to perpetrate an injustice of great magnitude. The victim slash abuser consciousness is being played out on a massive scale. Surely it is time that outside intervention by the powers of quote good can intercede. Unfortunately, that is not possible within the universal laws that uphold all that has manifested from potentiality into creation for the purpose of potentiality knowing itself. All is held in continuity through the immutable laws that govern without deviation. If deviation would occur, all would end in chaos. How then is chaos of any kind allowed? It is here that we must return to a concept that is found within the creation process. Each of you experiences it in your life expression as breathing. Your physical expression depends on it. Without breath, your body can retain life but a very short time. Within the expression of potentiality into manifested expression for the purpose of experiencing thought into wisdom, there is the necessity of investigating this process within self-awareness by various degrees of knowledge and wisdom. When an experience is complete or reaches a degree of imbalance, then it is necessary that it be dissolved. The energy is then made available to be reused or recycled. This recycling process of dissolving and reusing this energy is called chaos and takes place in the larger reality in what might be compared to breathing. What is manifested literally comes apart into confusion and returns to energy that is available for reuse. There are as many patterns for this process as there are happenstances of creation. In other words, it is unique each time it happens. The degree of chaos needed in order for the energy to be reused is also unique to each circumstance. How much chaos is necessary for humanity to recreate its opportunity to evolve within a positive situation? That remains to be determined by humanity itself. It is obvious that the current situation has no way to progress without a return to chaos. Those who have evolved and those who have chosen to incarnate on this planet for the purpose of changing the paradigm of experience on this planet hold the key within their conscious determination to play a leading role within this drama that is playing itself out. The determination of who writes the final scenes for this current theater production is very much up to those present right now. It will not wait for another generation to pick up the task from another one that has ignored the responsibility and left it to the happenstance of someone else to do, to do it. How much help can be contributed from the galactic community, it must, it must be pointed out, depends on human enough, depends on enough human beings rising above the victim focus 
and accepting responsibility. This is their only recompense. Wow, that's the end of that one. And I feel like that's true. Uh, at least for me, I feel like the only way forward is to, you know, see, sense and feel that we've been lied to. Um, not turn around and blame it on somebody else and play the victim card yet and again. No, see it, recognize it and set about changing it. And that's what I've been doing in my own personal life. I'll be right back with uh, number 15. Uh, thanks so much. I hope you're enjoying these. <laughs>